<laughs> I don't even know how that came about. But anyway, I like the cute panda story. But if you are in South Africa, don't confuse the word panda with panda. That means something completely different. So because we as South Africans have colloquialisms and lexicon all our very own. And of course, this needs to be reflected in our dictionary as local words become a part of our everyday usage. And we are celebrating UN English Language Day by celebrating the addition of 19 new words to the South African Oxford Dictionary. And to help us unpack this uh, by assisting us in learning some of these new entries that we might not know, the Dictionary Content Development Manager for Oxford University Press Southern Africa, Dr. Philip Lowe. And earlier on, we were just touching on a little bit, Dr. Lowe, on why it is so important for the dictionary to keep being updated because it reflects society, it reflects Correct, modern yeah. times, um, those words that have staying power. Um, so how do you even begin to do that? Like, do you just talk to a bunch of people and you go, <laughs> so what words do you use every day? And they say, well, I use this word. How do you, how do you find these words? So Kat, uh, this, what's very important about this dictionary is that it's actually the big one, the, the yeah. mothership, the Rolls Royce. And mm. it's compiled by a team of people in the UK. Okay. So it's very important uh, for them to, to realize that they don't maybe understand all the nuances. Mm -hmm. So they collaborate with us in South Africa okay. um, on the South African Dictionary team to make sure that they get the words in. And in addition to that, they use these wonderful electronic databases where they trawl the entire internet and they mm. can isolate the texts that are used just in South Africa and then compare it with the rest of English. And that's how they find words like that. Isn't that amazing? That's Technology, very, very eh? impressive. So we, we definitely are keeping things up to date from a South African point of view. So let's take a look at some of the other new editions. Yeah. Earlier on, we, we heard about BEE, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, another one that's been added is uh, LAPA. LAPA. And not LAPA. LAPA. Cool, yeah. So, you know, LAPA is an enclosed area and being South Africans, we like to pry and we like to make a poiki there and we like to chill and that's the chill without the Netflix attached. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lowe, on the money in the LAPA. All right, a new, a new one. I never heard this word before today. Gramadulas. Gramadulas, yes. It's like the bundu. It's a place you go to escape from it all. It's got a little bit of that deliverance backwards feeling to it. Yeah. But it's a place where you take your 4x4 four four and you have a lovely holiday, but you don't want to break down there. Yeah. Can you build a, a lapa in a gramadula? You can probably, yeah. Okay, good, good. Then another one, Joburg or Josie. Josie, yeah. From the bundu to the big smoke. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so South Africans, we love our contractions, ikapa. Uh -huh. uh, and here we've got Josie, which is just a, a, a colloquial short name for Johannesburg, the Absolutely. city. A new one that I'd never heard of before today, a hensopper. A hensopper. Yeah. Whoa. Hands, hands Your hands, your hands are your open. Your hands up. Hands open. Okay. Yeah. Where did that come from? So, so it comes from the Boer War, the, the South African War as we refer to it now, uh, where, where some of the Boers were bitter einders, they fought until the bitter Only end. bitter einder. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But others gave up earlier and they were the hands oh. But today, uh, we, we've extended that use to anybody who gives up easily whatever job they're busy doing. Yeah. They're a hands Yeah, Shaka didn't really like hands Yeah, tribe. no, no, no. You don't um, want the hands How tribe. about this one, uh, speaking of Isi Zulu? Isi Tatami. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that brings back memories. I, I, I think for most of us, Graceland, Paul Simon's wonderful album was, was like a defining moment. And Lady Smith, Black Mambazo, how awesome are they? And that's the style of singing they do. That, the, those beautiful harmonies that, that follow the central melody, these uh, Zulu male choirs, oh, it's just fantastic. Yeah, like that, that song we all have. Ah, my single ladies, ah, oh, my single ladies, ah, yeah. oh, my single ladies, I put your hand, you know that song. Um, <laughs> Wait, so uh, we've been putting you guys to the test on social media. I'm going to put you on the spot, Dr. Lowe. Can Ooh. I put you on the spot? Ooh, you so can. with this round of words, we've just learned Lapa, Gramadulas, Joburg or Josi, Hensoper and Isitkatamiya. Yes. Use all of those words, there are five of them, in one sentence. And go. I listened to a beautiful choir in the Gramadulas while I was sitting in my Lapa. And then I had to unfortunately go back to Josie, but when I got to work, I was just a hensopper. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I mean, well done, well done. So that, that was pretty good. Is, is it Katamiya wasn't, yeah, that was four out of five. That was very, very impressive. Is Katamiya. 
Well, the, the choir was singing. The choir, yeah, away, yeah. Right? there you go. Exactly. Well, how about you give your try on social media? Uh, let us know how you would use these new words in a sentence, and uh, we'll be learning even more. I can't believe. Yes, we'll be learning even more of these words with uh, Dr. Philip Lowe from the Oxford University Press, Southern Africa. So be sure to keep it locked here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And if you'd like more information about these words, then make sure to head on over to global.oup.com. Thanks again, Philip. Pleasure.